what's up welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Jay and girl welcome back to another day of vlogmas okay y'all we are moving right along in vlogmas like the days are running okay like I really don't know what's happening but they're running anyway we're going to do something just a tad bit different from a vlog today we are going to talk about 22 things that you should do before 2022 ends so number one before 2022 ends I feel like you should create a vision board. Create you a vision board, you guys. Dream, okay? Dream. When creating your vision board, guys, do not think small. We not thinking small. Ain't no Hondas, no Toyotas. Unless that's just your dream car, girl. That's your dream car, put your dream car on your vision board. Honestly, it just takes the same amount of effort to think small as it does to think big. You know what I'm saying? So create a vision board board you need to put out like the goals the things that you're trying to reach they need to be visible to you like on a daily basis like when you walk about this vision board you need to be able to see that thing a better idea than putting that vision board on a poster board would be to put it on the front of your phone guys put it on the front of your phone my current lock screen right now current home screen or that vision board it is what it is it's just something that i can see and it's in my subconscious conscious okay so even though I'm not studying it every day, I still see it on the background of my phone. Every single time I turn on my phone, I see a vision board. So definitely create your vision board, girl. It's good to have goals. It's good to have something to work towards. So number two, write down your goals for the year. Your vision board and your goals for the year might be something completely different. Your vision board are things that you want to reach, but it don't necessarily mean you want to reach those things this year. You just want to reach those things eventually or at some point or whatever. That's on you for whatever you make your time to be but girl I ain't no five-year plan over here uh-uh uh-uh we don't do that we trying to like I want mine before five years like I'm gonna throw that out there <laughs> anyway but definitely write down some goals for the year once you know what you're aiming towards or striving towards it's so much easier to write down the steps that it'll take you to get there or those small things like just little goals here and there whatever it is write down some goals girl cuz if you don't have no goals like what you waking up doing every day Third thing would be to declutter your home. This one is important. This is important. Let's not roll into 2023 with stuff we don't need. Y'all, Goodwill, my friends at Goodwill, Salvation Army, um, homeless shelters, Teen Challenge, just so many places are taking the things that you don't want or the things that you do not need. There's no reason for you to not declutter your home, girl. Do one room a day if that's what it's gonna take. One room every two days, every three days, whatever it takes takes for you to get it done, declutter your home before the new year starts. And number four would be to deep clean your home. You want to go into the new year feeling fresh and refreshed. Nothing is more refreshing and more relaxing than a clean home. I don't care what y'all say, I don't know about y'all, but I feel like 10 times better when my home is clean. If my home is dirty or cluttered, my mind is cluttered. Girl, I don't have no space for clutter to live up in here, okay? I just, mm, mm So deep clean your home. It will help you out so, 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 so much. And you'll feel so, so good. Number five would be to make a gratitude list. Girl, we all have some things to be thankful for. I don't care if you hate the house that you live in, if you hate the car you drive, if you hate all the people around you, you still have something to be thankful for. Every single day you wake up, you have working toilets, you have working plumbing, you have hot water girl i mean just the little things think about the everyday things that you might miss like i mean tissue like every single part of your body working so you're able to go to the bathroom like just small things i know it's crazy but just be thankful for everything girl you should have like 300 things to write on a gratitude list at least i know it's 300 things that i could be thankful for definitely i mean small things like look at how your life functions look at how your body functions look at how these things make this thing function like Look at everything, it's in the details. So number six, number six would be to call someone you haven't talked to in a while or reconnect with someone that you may have like kind of fallen off with. Yes get back in touch with that person like y'all whether we want to believe it or not like people are leaving here every single day you don't want to think about it being your loved ones or anybody that you had beef with or fell out with or whatever it was girl i don't know what y'all out there doing but you don't want to think about it being that one person 
or that person that you just stopped talking to or that person that y'all friends but y'all just don't talk all the time or you haven't talked to them in months you know what I mean reconnect with someone you know what I'm saying give someone a call that you haven't talked to in months or just something girl like it, it's gonna make you feel good you're gonna feel so good they're gonna feel so good everybody's just gonna feel so good to reconnect and talk to each other okay so number seven is to do a detox cleanse your body like cleanse your body of all the bad things that you've been eating over the holidays girl <laughs> Cause we all been doing it, okay? We all been eating cakes, pies, cookies, order little holiday cupcakes, brownies, bro, uh -huh. cinnamon rolls, whatever it is, girl, cleanse your body, do like a detox. Go on like a little juice cleanse. I'm not saying cut out all your other food. Don't, don't do that, don't do that. We're all not able, we all ain't with that. I cannot drop all the food, I just can't, I can't. I could probably replace two meals with like a green smoothie or something like that and eat. A healthy meal in the afternoon or whatever it is but girl I can't just cut out all my food like mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. but it is so important to refresh and restart our body as well so do a little detox before the year ends girl you're gonna feel so much better going into the new year number eight number eight would be to start a good morning routine it is so important to start a routine. Get into a routine, it's important. Even coming from a person who didn't do very, very, very well with routines, I'm starting to realize like, as I'm getting older, I'm definitely doing better with a routine. It needs to be like ingrained in my mind, like, hey, you get up and you do this every single day, every single day, every single day. Make it a habit, like, it takes 21 days to form a habit, so go 21 days straight, doing whatever your morning routine would be, and it's gonna be effortless. You're just gonna get up every day, you're gonna do that same thing. It's gonna be nothing. Let's say you want to start getting up at 4 a.m. and head into the gym. Girl, my power to you. I won't be with you, but you have fun. But if that's what you want to do, 21 days straight, get up at 4 a.m. Put your gym clothes on, go to the gym, and then boom, that's a part of your routine. So that leads me to number nine. Number nine would be to get a good nighttime routine down pat. So if you want to do like your little skincare or take a bath or whatever it is that you need to do to wind down every single night, read a book, I don't care what it is, get your night routine down pack as well. It just makes everything flow easily on a day to day basis, like it just doesn't take a lot. Just do the things that you need to do for you. So number 10 would be to start a little workout routine. Working out could be anything for you. It could be a little walk. Like everybody should be doing at least a 30 minute walk three times a week. At the minimum, a 30 minute walk and everybody can do that. If you can move your legs, if your legs move, you can definitely go for a walk for 30 minutes. I see these old people on the track. It's one lady with a cane. She walks with her cane. And I think it's a way more than 30 minutes because she be out there longer than me a lot of times. Anyway, this lady is walking. She is definitely putting everything she has into it. If your legs move, if your limbs are working and all the things, girl, at least go for a walk. Do some yoga if that's not your thing. Do some type of push-up, sit-up, something, a brisk walk around your house. Girl, I don't care what it is you do, just do it. Start your little workout routine. You'll feel so much better. You'll be more energetic. You'll just feel good. So number 11 would be to start implementing like a healthier diet. And I say start implementing because it's not gonna happen overnight. Don't get me wrong. Just cut little things here and there as you go and just build up to a cleaner diet at the end of the day here's the thing it's so much easier to cut out this one thing here and there as you go trust me eating healthy it has to be a lifestyle working out has to be a lifestyle so don't go into either one of these things like full force you're gonna quit you're gonna be done before the end of the week like literally so to do these things you just need to implement little things here and there as you go eating healthy also helps you with mental clarity and it helps you to want to work out a little bit more so you can see those results and things like that just take it in girl take it in and try doing it number 12 would be to start meditating or reflecting like just start reflecting on your day or just start to have some quiet time like for yourself it can start off to be five minutes it can start off to be 15 minutes 10 minutes whatever you like most whatever is most fitting for you start to just meditate a little bit and just reflect on things which is also another good thing for mental clarity. It's all about the mind. It all starts here. 
Number 13 would be to find a new hobby. Girl, find something that you like to do. There are a lot of adults that have no idea what they like to do. Believe it or not, especially moms, especially wives. Them the main too, like I know, I know. It could be dads, it could be husbands, whatever, whatever, whatever. It's a lot of adults though that don't have a hobby. Find you something that you like to do. It's not gonna be about your kids, it's not gonna be about your spouse, whatever. Find something that you like to do and do it. Number 14 would be to have a self-care day or just a self-care moment. Some people do not have the time to have a whole self-care day to themselves. And trust me, I completely understand. Some people just don't have that time and you can't get a little time alone to have a self-care day to yourself. So have your self-care moment. Whether that means to take a bubble bath, girl. After everybody in the house go to sleep, go take your bubble bath. Get you a glass of wine. If you don't like wine, go get you some water. I don't really care what you do. Run it hot with bubbles or whatever. Light you a candle. Just sit in there and relax self-care moment. I know people have been like harping, harping, harping on self-care and trust me, they're doing it for a reason. Baby, self-care is very important and if you're not taking care of yourself, you cannot take care of anyone else. Know that. Number 15 would be to do something that you always wanted to do. Did you that? Could you try again? Girl, no Siri did not interrupt me like that. Do that thing you've been holding back on. Sometimes we just hold back like, oh, I don't want to do this. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do this right now. Just do something you've always wanted to do. Girl, if you wanted to go hiking, go hiking. If you have a place to go hiking, like everybody don't have that. <laughs> If you want to learn to swim, go learn to swim. Whatever it is. I know it's winter. They make indoor pools. Don't play with me. If you want to go to the mountains, do that. If you want to walk alongside the beach, go do that. Girl, if you want to go to Target and walk every single aisle in peace, then do it. Whatever it is, just do it. Number 15 would be to do something good for someone else. There's just something about doing something good or doing a good deed for someone and it just makes you feel so good, it warms your heart and like, especially around this time of year, that's when we need it the most and that's when we need to do for other people the most. So just do something good for someone else, whatever it is you could think of. Number 17, call someone and tell them you love them. I know this is kind of similar to one that I mentioned early on in the video, but call someone and tell them you love them. This could be anyone though. This could be your mom, your dad, your brother, your sister, your friend. It doesn't matter. Just call someone and tell them you love them. Number 18, make someone smile. I know that's kind of like cheesy or whatever. You're like, how do I make someone smile, child? How do I know that this is going to make them smile? Girl, you could be walking past a random stranger in the store. Just smile at them. Most of the time, they smile back. Believe it or not. And that little smile can make someone's day. So make someone smile today. Number 19, try leaving a random note on a random stranger's car and just tell them that they matter. Like, you don't know what that person could be going through. You don't know how that person feels. The holiday season is not easy for everyone. So a person could be feeling down and out and we know absolutely nothing about it because we don't talk to people as much as we used to crazy enough anyway just try leaving a random note on a random stranger's car i'm definitely going to do this one myself i may do it to a couple cars because i just want to spread love spread joy spread cheer just all the things number 20 number 20 would be to start journaling you guys this is so, 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 so important. Rather it's to just write down your feelings every single day, whether you are scripting or whether you are writing down the vision and making it plain grow, whatever it is, start journaling. That is also very, very, very helpful for the mind. Listen, when I tell you that journaling helps so much with the mental, just in general, everybody like, go see a therapist, go see a therapist, blah, blah, blah. Going to see a therapist is cool, don't get me wrong, but going to see a therapist also is not for everybody some people don't enjoy talking their feelings over with the random stranger you get what i'm saying start journaling whether you're feeling good or whether you're feeling down journal it feels good to journal get it all out there put it on paper whatever it is just random it doesn't matter just journal number 21 read a book 
I know a lot of people don't like reading. Reading ain't for everybody. And sis, I get it. I get it, I get it, I get it. Reading is not my favorite thing to do, but when I find a good book, I actually really enjoy it. It takes you away from whatever you're doing or whatever is going on in your life and puts you in a whole new story. It's like a little fairy tale. It's kind of cool. You just like imagining whatever's happening in this book. It's pretty cool. But reading a book also just helps you just to learn something or to just have a different outlook on different things. If you don't want to read, try Audible or something. Try some type of audiobook. You don't even have to do Audible. You can try going on YouTube. People actually read books to you on YouTube. And that leads me to number 22. Number 22 would be to learn something new. So, whether you find that in a book, whether you find it on YouTube, whether you find it on Instagram, TikTok, I don't care how you gotta get it, learn something new. If you want to learn how to cook, learn how to cook a dish. If you want to learn how to vlog, girl, pick up your phone or whatever, get into it. YouTube, YouTube teaches you so much. You don't have to get it from a book. As I've said before, you can get it from YouTube, you can get it from TikTok. I really don't care how you get it. Learn something new. So you guys, that is all I have for this video. Thank you guys so much for supporting me and whatever I decide to do here on my channel. If you guys like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up girl tap that red subscribe button hit the bell next to it so you get notified every time your girl posts another video yeah and feel free to drop a comment down below telling me something that you would like to do before 2022 ends but as always be bold be beautiful be 